Mortal Online 2 is a hardcore full loot PvP MMO, and they just had their biggest update to date, Territory Control, where you build cities with your guild, you form alliances, and you fight over territory to own parts of the map and own these big castles. Alongside this, they released the penultimate part of their Elemental Magic School. The very first siege happened this weekend, and it has absolutely blown me away that I just had to make this and talk about it. I've done a full review of this game already, which goes into more detail on how the game works, the progression, the leveling, the crafting, and the pros and cons of the game. But basically, this is a slow game where you have to work on your character, build up your skills, your gear, and your reputation. But with the release of Territory Control, it, it feels like a different game. Every single person you see here had to grind for weeks to months building out their character, learning magic, or mastering the melee combat or archery. Skills give damage and new spells and must be leveled slowly, and your actually ability can take months to get better at. Some players even tame rare and powerful creatures or raise undead monsters and level them up. And then the culmination of all this work, all this effort, goes into the siege where you risk it all, keeps can be destroyed, buildings taken, and almost everything is dropped on death. Your gear, your spell regents, your pets, everything is gone if you lose the fight. Your character remains and your skills are there, but everything you had on you is gone. And people take this really seriously. It's all based on one server and the friendships and rivalries feel so real. Even the CEO streams weekly to update on development progress and interact with the community. This is the most immersive medieval combat MMO I have ever played. Starbot was a pretty small company, taking on a very ambitious project with Mortal Online 2, and I was hesitant if this could be pulled off. I'll be honest, I didn't think it would be this good, but I had to cover it and just draw attention to it because they have achieved what I thought was nearly impossible. The game has bugs, the server has its issues, its wobbles, and in these big fights your FPS can take a hit, which you can probably see here. But with, despite all those faults, this game is the most immersive, realistic, and probably one of the best MMOs I've ever played. And now when you can work with your friends to build up a town, forge alliances, trade, all working together to gather, craft, train and better yourself and your friends, all lead into these epic castle sieges, it's incredible. This isn't a pitch or a review, I just wanted to share an experience in a game that completely caught me by surprise. It's a highly underrated game, and I know a lot of my followers probably have never heard of this and might be interested in it. Maybe you played this when it first came out in beta, and it has come so much further in the last two years. I was just going to make a short little video of the fight, but I just really think more people need to be aware of just when this game is at its best, how good it can be. I know a lot of my subscribers play MMOs and Bannerlord and I've covered all that sort of stuff and RPGs on this channel, but if you're watching this and it's drawn you in, trust me, the new Siege content is something like you've never played before. It is one of the greatest experiences I've had in gaming. I've got over a thousand hours in this game. The game is Mortal Online 2. If you're looking for a highly immersive medieval MMO where everything matters and everything is on the line, I hope you have as much fun as I do. That's the video. Subscribe for more MMO and medieval content and if you've got any questions about it, let me know in the comments. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.